shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, please provide a warm welcome for your tournament MC, Natalie Jensen. Hello, everyone. Welcome back, Sammamish. Good morning. It's great to see you all again today. Yesterday, we had a long day, but a great day of qualification matches. I want to thank you all for your gracious professionalism, both on and off the field. Thank you so much for your creativity, your determination, your excitement especially, and your sportsmanship. We are excited to see you keep up that energy today for day two of our event. Remember teams, no matter the outcome of the event today, that first is bigger than just this competition and first is bigger than just this season. It isn't just about competition here. First is really about preparing you for the future. It's about building a community and building leaders for tomorrow and prepping you to take on some of the world's biggest challenges. It's exciting for us to think about the impact students that you will have over the next 50 years. All of the skills you are developing on the field, off the field, in your shops, working together, all the things you do at our events and leading up to them are going to serve you well after high school, whether you choose to go to college, whether you choose to join the workforce or with whatever you choose to do. FIRST does offer quite a few scholarships um, and you can check out the website for more information about those as well. 
Now let's hear about the impact that FIRST can have after high school. this yesterday but almost all of our first district events are exclusively volunteer run and I want to take some time this morning for us to thank and recognize all of the amazing people that um, it takes to make our events run smoothly if you want to join our volunteer crew in the future um, you can talk to me you can talk to Mara you can pretty much talk to any volunteer and they will um, help you out on how to do that you apply online at the first inspires website and we can find a spot for you. Let's start by showing our appreciation for our Sammamish crew with our judges. Judges, do you wanna stand and wave? <laughs> our judges have been hard at work getting to know you teams and we are eager to find out about where our awards are going later this afternoon. I also want us to recognize a group of people who have been making sure your robots are safe to play. These are your robot inspectors, led by lead robot inspector Aaron Schmitz. <laughs> Teams, you probably saw a lot of your robot inspectors yesterday, but remember, if you expect to be in the playoff matches, you need to be re-inspected. So after your last qualification match, head over to inspection. They're gonna want to double check your robot is still safe to play and that you didn't make any crazy changes. Now, down on the field, we also have a large group of volunteers um, that make everything happen. Um, we have scorekeepers, we have cures, we have our FTA A's, our FTA John Grimm, Behind John, we have our field supervisor, Ayla DeLott. Out in the pit, we have our pit admin crew. We have our spare parts crew who are led by pit admin supervisor, Kathy Chaplin. And I don't see her. Oh, there she is. Um, our volunteer coordinator who helps put this entire volunteer to crew together, Mara Keeley. <laughs> Again, every, almost every single person you see out here working is a volunteer. So it's incredibly important to uh, remember to be gracious and professional towards them and to shower them in thanks today as we wind the day down. Another thing that's incredibly important to us is safety, as you know. Um, we are lucky to have two volunteer safety managers with us, Alan Walker and James Walk Wolken. There they are. <laughs> They have been leading our safety meetings and checking up on teams in the pit to make sure you've got safety glasses on, making sure you are staying safe while working in your robots. And with that, I want to give a congratulations to Team 1939, the Knigets from Kansas City for their award-winning safety animation. Let's check it out. Technology is helping people and cargo move about our planet faster and further than ever before. Let's follow one package to see how the future of transportation is safe for all. People and robots often work together to create products and get cargo ready for shipping. Just like in FIRST, safety training is important when working with robots. Robots will also have safety features like sensors and cameras to avoid injuries. Planes, trains, and semi-trucks can be powered by electricity and renewable energy in the future to be safer for our planet. Self-driving cars, drones, or delivery robots will use LiDAR and the Internet of Things to avoid accidents and crashes. 
Each year, 40 million people are injured in car accidents worldwide, so these technologies could save lives. And, and help, help us go, go faster, faster, farther, and, and safer. safer than ever before. Speaking of safety, thank you all so much for properly wearing your masks yesterday. We are asking that you continue to stay masked with your mouth and nose covered to help us uh, keep our inv events in person and help us slow the spread of COVID-19 in our local first community and with our greater community as well. Here is what our day is gonna look like today. Uh, we have 16 more qualification matches to play this morning. After those qualification matches, we will go straight into Alliance Selection, where the top eight ranked teams will pick two additional teams to join their alliances for the playoff rounds. After a quick lunch break, we will head straight into playoffs, where we will determine who is the uh, Sammamish District event winner. Are you all excited? <laughs> After playoffs, we will get to hand out some hardware at the very end of the day. Uh, but before we get started, please rise to the national anthem. <laughs> Samamish, are you ready for takeoff? Are you ready to play some rapid react? Please give a warm welcome back to one of my game announcers, Evan Klein. Good morning, Samamish. And teams, come on out to the field so we can get our robots started. <laughs> 